Hey everybody, Looks Into Swirl here. So today we're going to try pouring over something else. I just bought a new lamp. It has two lampshades and I thought it would be fun to pour over these. I've seen it done on another channel, Mixed Media Girl, who does fantastic acrylic pouring stuff. I will link to her in the description down below. So what I'm going to do, I have these set up on two different um, jars or cups so I can easily lift them off the canvas. We'll pour over these, let it drip for a few seconds until the dripping slows, take these off, and then we will tilt our canvas and end up with hopefully a gorgeous painting. Uh, last time I poured, I used a combination of Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Acrylics uh, and a couple colors I mixed myself with Floetrol. This time I'm using just the Artist Loft. And since we're going to do two lamp covers, I'm going to do two cups of paint layered with different colors. So over here on this shade, we're going to use uh, metallic white, beautiful yellow, purple, orange, and bright red. So that'll be this side, this cup. Over here on this lampshade and in this cup we will use titanium white, black, aqua green, metallic silver, and sap green or SAP green. I'm not sure what sap green not, not sure about that one, but it's a beautiful green, so we're going to use this. All right, so we have, uh, what is that, five colors on each side. So I'm just going to start layering. I'll do one cup at a time, since it's just me. This time, I'm not going to be quite as stingy as I was with the paints last time. That was another issue I had. Uh, each cup will be, each cup holds about eight ounces. I don't know if you can see the measurements on there. So each cup will be full of paint because we need 16 ounces to cover the entire canvas. Whoop. No particular rhyme or reason here to my, to my layering. Another thing to remember about these acrylic pores, especially the cup pores, is whatever goes in first is what comes out last. And so whatever you actually want to see left on the lampshade should be what you consider putting in the cup first. So I would consider these to be warm colors as opposed to over here, which will be cooler colors. I actually have a regular blue. I'm kind of surprised by that. Uh, they, I did not get all the different colors available in this ready mix pouring paint I ordered <laughs> over a series of a few weeks. I checked back every day while there was a sale going on and I managed to get all of these colors and a couple others I'm not using. Um, namely uh, deeper red and metallic gold I also have, but I certainly haven't gotten all the colors. So there's something to look forward to. All right, and we'll end with a little more white. So there's our first cup. Start with our slightly different white. And then black. Aqua. This was my mother's favorite color in the whole world, aqua blue. So it's not really a huge surprise that it's one of my favorite colors as well. I like lots of different blues, but aqua ha has a special place in my heart. Here's our SAP or sap green. If anyone can explain the sap part to me, 
I don't know of any tree that releases sap that color, so I'm not really sure what that's referring to. You know, if you have an idea about that, you can leave a comment down in the comment section below. I'd be curious. I'll take theories. Beautiful aqua. Metallic silver. Whoop. Sap green again. Uh, how are we doing here? A little bit more white. Okay. Well, let's see. What can I finish with? Finish with a little more black. Question is, should I try and do this at the same time or do them separately? If I do them separately, then whichever one I do first will move farther along before it meets up with the second one. It's tempting to try and do them at the same time, but I am not very coordinated, so I'm going to do them one at a time. We will start with this one. <sighs> Ring pour, here we go. All right, and my cooler colors over here. Here we go. These paints really are gorgeous. They definitely hold their, they hold their lines, they hold their structure. They do not just blend together as you're pouring, which gives such cool effects. So there is the black taken over here. <laughs> Always a possibility with black, which is why I started with white, because I'm hoping that will be evident as we come to the end of this pour. Cool cup. I'm going to let them sit for just a few minutes, well, a few seconds. Okay, here is the side view. There's the big one. Here's the little one that is really going black with some green, so that's good. It's St. Patrick's Day today, although I don't know if it will be when you see this video, but all right. Okay, the dripping has pretty much stopped on these, so I am going to attempt, <laughs> hopefully without spilling or making a humongous mess, to lift both of these off, put them over here so they can keep dripping, Again, I'm bumping my hand on it a little bit, but it should keep dripping and wipe away all signs of my hand touching the rim here. Same with this. This one's a little trickier. There we go. All right, that'll keep dripping. Those will keep dripping. And now we'll see if I actually have enough paint here. It's cool how they're running together with the drip pattern. Oh my, okay, you know what? Let's add a little paint on the edges. Just put a little bit of white on the sides to encourage things to flow. A little black over here. Okay, let's see how this goes. Wish me luck, again. you can see this. I do love how these paints behave. I wish they weren't quite as expensive as they are <laughs> or that I had a whole lot more coupons. 
just have to be patient, shop the sales, stock up when I can, which of course we're all doing right now, right? Since we're sort of on voluntary quarantine at this point. All right, this is looking beautiful. I may try and keep most of this intact. I think I will. I think I will. All right. I will encourage some of this to run off. Let's see. What's well, the best way to do this? Apologize for the glare. I will now do our close-ups. Here is the lower right-hand corner. Aren't those lines gorgeous? Oh my gosh. Upper right-hand corner. Along the top. Left-hand corner. Upper left hand corner, sorry. Down here to the lower left hand corner. And then we have the entire painting. All right, let's look at our two lampshades. Here is the little one. It basically turned into a black and white with hints of green, <laughs> but that's okay. I like it. Sort of art deco-y. Then we have our very warm colors over here on the big lampshade. I think it turned out beautiful also. It looked kind of pumpkin-y, but that's okay. So tomorrow when these dry, I will show you what they look like on the lamp with the lights turned on and off, so we can see what the effect is. And I'll bring you back and show you the whole painting dried. Thanks, everybody. See you tomorrow. Okay, everybody, the painting is dry. Look how gorgeous it turned out. Look at that, it is just beautiful. And because of this particular type of pouring paint, the Artist Loft Ready Mix, it already has a gorgeous gloss to it. This is dry. Isn't this beautiful? Look at those lines. Just gorgeous. Let me go up to the upper right corner again. Across the top. Oh, it's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Down the left side to the left bottom corner. Wow. In the middle, I just love how this part turned out. Just amazing, look at that. I cannot wait for this to cure so I can hang it up on the wall. Look at that, definition, love it. And here are the finished lampshades. Now I'm gonna take these off and let them cure longer and then clear coat them. Uh, but I wanted you to see what they look like on the lamp. Here's the big one. I think it looks gorgeous. Absolutely stunning. Try and focus here. Oh, sorry if it's not. And then the little black and white one. Turned out really gorgeous. And now I'll turn them on. This is the effect they're going to have in the room when I have the lamp on. Here we go. Really, really pretty. Couldn't be happier with how that turned out. Hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. Leave me a comment, maybe even a thumbs up. 
Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you in the next video.